Hi everyone. Hope you are learning the subject, knowing the topics. Hope the videos are uh, useful. Welcome back to my class. Mithun here. We were talking about many topics in the automata theory. This session we focus on some problems about push down automata. Anyhow, push down automata. In short, we call it as a PDA, which has stack has a memory device, which can solve many problems. We need to know how to solve those problems. Today's session, we talk about the problem PDA to accept the language L equals A power N B power 2N. Very interesting problem. We will be able to solve completely and we, we just see how to write a diagram for this and how to write an acceptance of a string. Let's start. As usual, we know if you want to design any automata, we need to first start with the string to be accepted. So let's start. We can easily just check it out. It says a power n, b power 2n, where n greater than 0. So the value of n is 1, 2, 3 and so on. But observe always number of b's are twice the number of a's so if i write if i consider n as one then it would be a b b if i if n is two it would be a a b b b b it goes on now we need to just check out how do i write transitions for this because it is not like other problems what we had discussed here the problem is pretty much different so let's start understanding the problem, then come back to write the transition. Say, suppose if I consider this as a stack, as we all know, Z will be there in the stack to indicate as empty stack. Let's see how the problem would work. For example, if you take a string A, A, B, 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 B. So normally what we do, we try to push A's. And for every B, we try to pop the corresponding A. But here, if you do so, observe properly. If you if you push A's, you're only pushing two A's. But you have four B's. Even though if you pop A for every B, you are still left with two B's there. And you don't know how many B's are left. So what do we do? Rather than talking about pushing A's like this, we just follow a technique for every way for every a you push two a's so that that would be equating it to number of b's obviously we know that for every a there are two b's the same thing we are doing it for every way a we are pushing two a's first a we are pushing two a's for second a we are pushing two a's so now in the stack there are four a's remember it's only in stack not in input symbol. Input symbol still remains A, A, B, 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 B. If I consider that as an example, that means input string would remain same. For our ease of design purpose, we're just changing the content of a stack. Hence, we are just pushing two A's for every A. So that when you push all the A's, when I encounter B, I can able to get so many A's as well. Since you have two A's in the input string and we have pushed four A's in the, onto the stack, then definitely since we have four B's in the input string, we can easily pop A's accordingly. Now this is your stack top. Then for first B, we just try to pop this A, stop most. Then top will be somewhere here. For the next B, we pop this B, uh, A. Then we have a third B we encounter, we pop third a and at the end we have last b and we pop this anyhow there are no symbols in the input string similarly there are no symbols in the stack that is empty stack so we can just say the string is accepted so now we need to know how do i try to write a transitions for doing this remember always you can push one symbol or more than one symbol onto the stack but we cannot pop more than one symbol that is very much interesting we should we need to 
be very cautious while solving the problem. Pop can be single symbol, but push, it might be one or more than one, depending on the requirement or the situations. Let's start with that. Anyhow, the first transition would be, let's start, it is Q0. Say the input symbol is A and stack top is Z. That's the initial condition. What do I write? B in the same state Q0, push A, A onto stack. So it would be A, A, Z. You know, how do I write push transition? Because in the push transition, you need to have an existing stack top along with the new symbols what I push. Now existing stack top is Z as it is empty. You need to push 2A, so it would be A, A, Z. Fine. Now, moving on. Let's say next transition. Now, the stack is having two symbols. That means if we have encountered um, first A, we would have pushed 2A there. So now, we need to encounter, we are encountering second A. In that case, it would be Q1. Input symbol is A. And stack top is also A. Then what happens? B in the same state Q0 again. Push A A. Existing A is already there. So it would be A A A. Hope that's clear. So these are two push transitions we need to write it. Just write it here. For every A we encounter. Push two A's onto stack. Then let's go for pop transitions. Every B encountered pop corresponding A from the stack. So let's see. Now, the second transition what we have written would take care of remaining A's whatever is there. Observe properly. If you encounter a third, fourth, fifth A's, it keeps on pushing two A's for every A what was encountered. All the A's are pushed onto the stack. Now it is pretty much simple to take care of uh, B's. Let's be in the same state. We are not changing the state. Q0 with the input symbol B and stack top is A. It's pretty easy. Now we change the state. We just change the state to Q1 and we just try to pop. So we just say, observe the transition properly in the state Q0 with the input symbol B and if stack top contains A, just simply change the state to Q1 and replace stack top by epsilon. And you know, the moment I replace with epsilon, it is nothing but copying the symbol from the stack. Now, the automata is in state Q1. So we need to just specify the transition for that as well because we need to encounter next B in the input string. So in the state Q1, when you encounter next B and stack top would be still A. So we can say to just be in the same state Q1 and replace with epsilon that is we are popping the symbol. This solves the problem. So how many ever B's you encounter, obviously you will have so many ever A's in the stack. So you just keep popping A's accordingly. So then it comes to an end. We may encounter Q1, this will be the last transition in the state Q1. If there are no more input symbol to be scanned and stack top is there, then obviously we can say it's completed, it's accepted. Shift the state to or change the state to Q2 and, and then replace it with Z itself. So stack top would remain same. Hope that's clear. Now let's start uh, drawing it. Remember, it is not similar to DFA transition diagram. There is little bit change here. We need to specify what is the input and what is the output here. Sorry, I made a mention. This is Q0 itself because we are not changing the state there. Coming back to the diagram. In the state Q0, if you encounter A and stack top is Z, we are just pushing. So slash indicates left I mean. Left of slash would be input, right of slash would be output. So in the same state. So even here it would be same. In the state Q0, if you encounter A and stack top is also A, then we are pushing A, A onto 
stack. So it would be A A A. Moving on in the state Q naught, if you encounter B and if stack top is A, then we just pop it by changing the state to Q1. So now we are in the state Q1. Obviously, we know whenever we talk about Q1, we will, if we encounter any more Bs in the input string and if stack top is A, we will be in the same state Q1 by replacing it with epsilon. That means we are popping. At the end, if there are no more input symbols to be scanned, that is, if input symbol is epsilon and stack top is Z. So what do we do? We just change the state to Q2 and we just be replacing Z with Z itself. This is about the diagram, what we need to draw. And let's check the last thing. That is, how do I write the acceptance of a string? Then we'll wind up. Let's say string as A, A, B, 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 B. In the state Q0, string is A, A, B, 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 stack top is Z. We know we use the symbol which we indicated as ID of a PDA. This symbol we use. In the state Q0, if you encounter A and stack top is Z, Within the state Q0, for first A, we are pushing two A's onto stack. Input symbol is left with A, B, 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 B. So stack contains A, A, Z. Again, we are encountering A in the state Q0 and stack top is A. We are pushing next A onto stack. Being in the same state is B, 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 A, 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 Z. Now, in the state Q0, if you encounter B and stack top is Z, we just pop it. That means change the state to Q1, pop A. We just continue in the same way or similar way. At the end, we would reach in the state Q1, if you encounter Epsilon and stack top is Z, we can say it is accepted. Hope you have understood the problem. You can just see here. We just started with the design of a PDA for A power N, B power 2N. For every way we are trying to push two A's so that it can easily match with number of B's. So these are the transitions we have. This is all about solving a problem A power N, B power 2N. Thank you for watching. Subscribe the channel. Keep watching. Understand the concepts. Thank you.